Okay, I'm going to have a look at this, the Urban Weather Station today at CoolSmartphone.com. And this is from a company called Netatmo. And uh, as you can see, it consists of two um, sensors. One is taller than the other, and it involves your phone. That can be uh, your phone or a tablet, so it can be the iPhone, um, the iPad, or the iPod. And it also now supports Android handsets too. And you can see some of the things that this um, can monitor, uh, the weather, uh, the outdoor air quality, the indoor air quality, CO2 levels, humidity, barometric pressure, acoustic comfort, which I basically mean how noisy it is inside, and the temperature, of course. And you can use this app, which is completely free and comes with a lifetime subscription, um, support, etc., to discover weather patterns and you can adapt your daily activities whether to go out if it's raining or not um, and these two um, sensors this is the indoor one and that's the outdoor one very easy to get started I'll just show you a few uh, I mean this is all going to be on cool smartphone and you can see the pictures a bit better you can see what's going on a bit better in the review but you can see how easy it is to get set up basically the tall um, sensor the indoor sensor you plug into the mains through this the charger that comes supplied and the cable that comes supplied uh, the outdoor sensor you just get a coin and just change, take the bottom off it put the four batteries triple a batteries they're included and uh, put those in uh, the larger one goes on the inside the smaller one goes on the outside you can go to this page if you need any help uh, it comes with a little screw and a uh, roll plug so you can screw it into the wall. If you don't want to do that, you can use this nice belt system, which I'll show you in a minute, which can attach it to a drain pipe of some description. Um, so to get set up, it's really easy. I'll just show you the iPad up here on the iPad, obviously. Here's the uh, first screen. Don't worry if you can't see this too well. Again, there's full screenshots on the review, but just to show you how easy it is to set up a station, as they call it, the external station. And the station here, install a new station. What you need to do, the indoor station, you just plug that into the iPad through the normal cable that you have for the iPad uh, or your Android phone, and you plug that into there. Then it grabs the settings from your iPad or iPhone, the Wi-Fi settings, and splats it onto the indoor sensor. I'll show you the indoor sensor. It's in another room here. It's a very nice looking thing, as you can see here. And normally this isn't charged by batteries. This is actually powered um, through it slightly. As you can see, those are the, that's the hole I was talking about in the review, the USB hole. And that's what plugs into your iPad or iPhone. And the lower hole there is just the charging point. So this plugs in and it comes supplied with a charger. And it just sits there like that. You can see it's on and it's uh, flashing blue at the moment you can tell it to um, make a reading grab a reading by just sort of touching the the top of the device and it will glow green and it will take one reading for you it doesn't flash like this all the time i must say um, and it's a very nice cool single piece of aluminium around the edge a very nice design um, a touch sensitive button on the top here which is a white disc with a little indent in it and um, a white disc at the bottom and it's a very nice looking thing I must admit if we go outside I'll show you the outdoor sensor this doesn't look out of place by the way in the lounge here as you can see it doesn't look too bad obviously we've got the, the flashing light if I turn it off and turn it back on again we should just see it glow once and then if you want to take as I was just mentioning if you want to take a, a reading just on the fly you wait till it goes off like that, tap it once, and then it takes a reading, glows green. So that's grabbing a reading of the noise in here, the temperature in here, etc, etc. And the outdoor sensor, this will communicate, I presume, via Wi-Fi. And I'll show you where I put the outdoor sensor. And we go outside. The outdoor sensor, it actually says to put it somewhere. Oh, look at those mops. This is really um, rock and roll now. The outdoor sensor is up here. As you can see, I put it underneath the guttering to shield it a little from the rain and the elements. Um, I wouldn't want to... It does actually say in the manual to try and keep it out of the uh, rain coming directly above it. And you can see there the, the Velcro strap that they provide uh, that comes with a little plastic 
indent on the back there, and that's how it fits. This is powered by four uh, AAA batteries, which come supplied, which is nice of them. And it sits there and takes readings. And the temperature out here and the humidity, as you can probably tell, it is raining quite a bit at the minute, as you can see. So it should tell me that the humidity is pretty much 100% because it is raining out here. So let's go back inside and have a look at what the app tells me. Leave this running now. There was a small breaking connection, which you may see. There you go, look, you can see it's just said, you took a measurement on demand one minute ago, which was when I touched the top of the indoor sensor here. Here's the, uh, the panel that we get. We can see outside it's 3.8 degrees Celsius. It's not very warm at the moment. Obviously the humidity is indeed 100% because it is raining. We can see that the, uh, the app has decided that it is cloudy and raining, which is very true indeed. Here, this shows you the um, O2 level, sort of very low at the moment, the pollutant. Uh, you can see the lowest temperature today, the highest temperature, and what it feels like, which is one degree, it's not very warm at all. And inside, because I've had all the windows open to try and get this house smelling fresh, we only have 15.4 degrees coming from the internal sensor. Humidity inside is 53%, probably again, because I've had the windows open. There's a the pressure and the highest and lowest temperature recorded today. Here's the volume, which was me talking. It's relatively quiet in here. CO2 levels inside, and you can see on these charts here, this is uh, basically the weather forecast for the upcoming few days, the temperature, how it's going to change, how much rainfall you're going to get. And we can see what the sensor outside humidity has recorded. Here's the break. I actually uh, decided to turn off accidentally the internal um, sensor which was a bit of a mistake because it broke the connection between the internal sensor and the external one but you can see roughly how the humidity has changed over the evening from when i first had it turned on it basically got wetter and wetter and now it's just chucking it down um we can also have a look at the temperature how that's changed again there was a bit of a break but last night it got down to just two degrees celsius and then this morning it's uh, gone up to five and then it's dipped a little as the day's gone on. So you can see this as you leave it to progress, it takes uh, sense, uh, it takes readings um, as and when it, uh, it needs to. Uh, the AAA batteries have been in a couple of days now and you can see here from, if we go into settings and I go into the stations and I go into my station and you can see the indoor base here and the Wi-Fi signal it's got a good signal the outdoor module it's got a two bar signal you can see the battery status the firmware of the external um, bar you can personalize the notifications you can set the location in there you can do lots of good stuff um, if we go back to the menu, we can see your accounts, your invitation. You can set third-party apps to talk to these um, bits of kit as well. And we can also see the actual logs and events. And you can set those events. I believe, let me just, I've not really prepared this, but you can tell it. Let's have a look now. Is it my stations? And there's a way of getting it to tell me when certain things happen. Let me just see if I can find a way of doing that. Now you can change the units, by the way. If you're uh, in the old metric or US system, you're on Fahrenheit, miles per hour, etc. The feels like temperature, you can tweak that. Um, let's have a look what else we can change. My invitations, you can sort of connect to Facebook and Twitter and keep everybody else updated. Third party apps, you can connect those in. Loads of different settings here. And ah, I believe it's that, you need to press that. No, well, there is a way anyway, which I'll find. Oh, there's the indoor temperature, by the way, it's saying it's a bit cold inside. Flip this round and you can see how the uh, upcoming Weather forecast is uh, displayed. You can see the rain for the upcoming week. It's not going to be good today. 
Uh, today is the Sunday. Temperature it's getting a bit warmer as the week goes on, and the summary. And that is about it. So as I can see, and um, this is a very nicely put together bit of kit. Very easy to set up. It detects uh, a huge manner of things. It allows for other apps to sort of talk to these devices as well. The Natakmo Urban Weather Station. <laughs>